Guys, what's going on? It is Andy Elliott. If you're earning less than a quarter of a million a year, if you are, I'm going to tell you this is how you're going to rise to the tops. And listen, if you're in the automotive space, any of my auto people, this is your opportunity to go to the next level now. Listen up, okay? Because this is, this is the video that's going to change your life. Check it out. I just want to stay that stay mad shit by my shoulder because they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that stay back. I'll be swinging on till they. Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm here with my man, Dennis Gingrich. Dennis is one of the most savage, killer FNI people in the world. Now, listen, I'm gonna tell you what this whole video is about. I'm gonna tell you what this podcast is about. This is an opportunity for you. If you're in the automotive space and you're selling cars, if you want to move up, I don't care if your company wants you to move up. Do you want to move up? Do you want to go and move up through the ranks, own a store, run an F&I department, be a manager? Do you want to move up? If the answer is yes, listen. I'm going to tell you how to do it, okay? Here's your freaking chance. I am going to show you how to have every dealership in the country wanting to hire you if you're not in the automotive space, okay? And you got a job right now and you're earning less than a quarter of a million a year. I want to tell you this. I train over 10,000 dealerships in the automotive industry, and I'm telling you right now, the number one thing that I get, I get a call every day, and people are asking me, Andy, I need F&I people. And you know what they say? Listen, they say, I don't even want veterans. You know what I want? I want someone who is a salesman, who is hungry, who is fired up, who understands finance, who can come in here, make money, take care of customers, and move the needle in our back end um, of our company. Guys, listen to me. There is a massive need for finance people. Listen, I've got GM after owner after managers lined up ready to hire you right now, okay? Now, my man Dennis, me and him are putting on an event, okay? One day, one day, I will make you the most deadliest F&I person in the country. Dennis, uh, how many stores do you currently run? Is it eight? Nine. Nine? He runs nine stores. Listen to me. Compliance, closing, selling, customer satisfaction, everything. He's put together a one-day guide. He's going to teach you every close, how to present everything from A to Z with me in Scottsdale, Arizona. One-day event, December of 2023. All you have to do, if you want information on this, and then let's get into the training, text this number below. You see the number on the screen, 918-210-0254. Send me a text, 918-210-0254. Say, Andy, send me information on the finance event. Listen to me. The ticket to get into the event is $997. It's less than $1,000. I'm just telling you up front, it's $997. In one day event, how long have you been in F&I, Dennis? Uh, 26 years. In one day, we have a, a blueprint, A to Z, to teach you how to walk into any interview, any interview at all. I can give you a job on the spot when you're here after you go through his class. Call a GM, get you a job like that. I can show you how to do an interview, and I can make you better than any finance guy who's been doing it for 10 years. Dennis is going to train you in one day everything from A to Z that you'll need to know. Scottsdale, Arizona, spend one day with me and Dennis. We're going to walk you through the entire F&I curriculum, which is going to show you not only, not only how to understand finance, but how to close and sell every client and make them the most satisfied, happiest customer you've ever seen and run the highest gross per copy and get paid more than you ever imagined in your life. We've got F&I guys that Dennis trains that make 500 grand a year. Listen to me, guys. Listen, this is your chance to create a new career for your family, your life, everything you've ever wanted. We're going to teach you when you walk out of here. Number one, I'll line you up with the job. I just need you to show up, pay attention, and learn. I'll handle it. So, Dennis, I want to turn it over. I don't want to talk a lot here. I know that you're the king. You're the master. I want to tell you this. Um, I'm really good at selling. I'm good at closing. I'm good at team building. I'm good at leadership. I'm good at a lot of stuff. But I always recognize when somebody's better than me at something. This guy is the best. And, you know, in the F&I space, when it comes to money and compliance, it's really important that you know who you're learning from, okay? And by the way, if you're a general manager, you're a dealer, and you're, you're watching this, like, you need to send your people to this, okay? Um, let's get into some of the things that they can expect to learn. Let's get into things that the, the market right now needs. Let's get into things that dealerships are thirsty for. Is that cool? Um, Dennis, if you haven't met Dennis before, guys, he's from California. 
He's a savage. He's the most incredible man. If he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. He doesn't, he doesn't take bets that he knows he can't win. He is a savage at training people how to become dangerous in FNI. So tell us a little bit about your background, and let's just talk about this event, what all everybody's going to be learning. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Well, first of all, Andy, I just want to thank you for having me down here in the desert. Every time I come here, I just am reinvigorated about everything I do. And I'm incredibly excited to partner with you on December 11th. Uh, you know, my career, uh, my entire professional career has been in automotive. You know, I started at 18, I'm 44, uh, got into that F&I office when, at age 20. And uh, it has been a, a great uh, business for me. I have never wanted for anything. The F&I arena right now is probably, I don't even want to say probably, it is definitely the most important office in the dealership right now. The market is changing as it always does, but there's so much going on. We've got rising interest rates. We've got inflation. We have government looking closely at a lot of different industries, but the automotive industry has always been at the forefront of regulation and compliance bodies, making sure that we in automotive are doing the right thing. So I would say the table stakes of being an F&I are as high as they've ever been. So when you come down here on December 11th, I wanna make sure you're set up for success. Yes, I'm gonna teach you how to run big numbers. Yes, I'm gonna help drive your penetration and product index through the roof. Absolutely, we're gonna make sure you're doing it in a way to make sure your customers feel good about you as an individual, but feel good about the dealership. And then of course, making sure you're doing all that while being compliant to state, local, and federal uh, entities. I'm grateful that I work in California. California is one of the toughest markets when it comes to compliance. The complexity there is arguably second to none when you compare it to the other 49 yeah, states say, in the union. I want to say this, Dennis. I got a lot of dealerships that have been buying tickets fast. So listen, if you're watching this, like text now and get your tickets. Okay. Cause I think we're only taking like hundred, 200 people and we're cutting it off. So I just want you to know this is going to be a smaller, intimate setting where we can train everybody to be the most elite. But I wanted to explain this. Um, number one, when the dealers that I do business with found out that you were teaching it, the first question they ask is, um, where is he from? And when I said California, they said, yep, send him my people. Because your compliance are the most strictest from any state. So when you teach from the California standard, it literally blankets every state. And that compliance is the number one reasons why dealerships get sued, why there's lawsuits and all those things. So, like, it's not only about making money, it's about keeping it, right? And I know that dealerships right now are looking to make and keep money. They want people that have been trained and have been trained the right way. Do when you walk out of here and you say that you're Andy Elliott certified and you were trained by Dennis Gingrich, I want to explain this to you. You can get a job anywhere anywhere in the world. And if you've been in this business for a while, I mean, dude, your guys are running crazy numbers. You're still in the dealership today. You still train today. And I love it that your dealership has such an abundance mindset that they allow you to train other people because they're not afraid. They're not scared. They allow you to train other people because they love, they love seeing what you do as far as changing the automotive industry perspective, right? Like you've made the automotive industry a better place, just like I have. So us two together, um, we're dangerous. So I just want to say like, I've had a lot of dealers, they've asked me, where are you from? When I say California, they're like, yeah, I'm sending three. Yeah. You know, let's go. No, I mean, it's, you know, being in California, you know, yeah, it's challenging, but anything uh, that's not challenging isn't really worth doing. So when you work in an environment like that, you know, not only do you have to elevate you know, your attention to detail, crossing the T's, dotting the I's, but you also have to elevate your sales pitch, right? The days of, uh, you know, sliding something by a customer, they're gone. The, the internet is, it has all of the information a consumer could possibly want to know whether they were uh, not treated as they were supposed to. So if, if you're not trained uh, in a way to, to meet today's uh, demands of being an F&I manager, 
you're probably not long in the tooth in your current chair. So, and that's not a criticism of any individual that's been doing this for a long time, Andy. It's not because some of us, you know, some of us that worked at the same dealership for a long time and we fall into the trap of doing things for the reason because that's the way we've always done it. You know, it's not a fault, but the only way to grow is to get off your island, get outside your dealership and come to an event with a bunch of different people around the country that are all here to do one thing, and that's learn and grow. It- yeah, I wanted to say something. I, I've got a guy who's 20 years old who works for a smaller independent store, and he was running around. And by his 20 years old, he's worked there since he's 18, two years. They gave him a shot in, in finance because there's only a couple salespeople there in the store. He moved up. The guy was running $1,200 a copy. Now, obviously, he's young. He's 20 years old. But look, I love young people. They're very innovative. They learn. They're hungry. Um, He's running $1,200 a copy. Me and you created a finance training together. Um, He bought this finance training. He's running about $3,200, $3,300 a copy now. And that was literally within just one or two months of listening to the way that you speak, the way you present, the way you talk. Um, Every dealer that I do business with, when they hear some of the ways that you've closed and presented, they said, look, I've been doing this for 30 years. No one, and I mean no one that I've ever met, is as good as you. Can, can you give a little background on like your training in F&I so that people can, because you were with Zurich for a long time, right? Like in, in like what that means. I mean, because you didn't, you, you haven't just stayed in one dealership. Like, like you've learned from being in finance training companies, yep. right? Like you don't work in a dealership. I'm like, hey, this is my buddy who works at a car dealership. He's going to teach you guys. Let's, let, let, let's give a little bit of credibility to your background. Is yep. that cool? No, I think that's great. And I think it is important because yes, you know, I got started in finance, like I mentioned at 20 and you learn over just taking a lot of reps. That's true with anything you're doing. More reps, the better you're going to get. But when when you don't pull yourself out and get outside training or seek feedback, good, bad, or ugly feedback, as long as it's constructive, you're really not going to grow. So when I first started, you know, I remember like 12, 1500 bucks was good. You know, I mean, that that was good. And then you, you start looking around your your local automotive community and you hear about the guy or gal down the street that's running two or twenty five hundred. And then you start to network with these people. And that's really what we're talking about on December 11th to some extent. But going through this constant repetition and one thing that, uh, you know, I'm grateful for is that I was one of the upper performers when I came up in the industry. I knew people and people knew me for what I could bring to the table. And that was getting deals bought, running good numbers. And, uh, you know, and then through my my network of lending partners, you know, when I moved from Nevada over to California, that's how I got put in with a, a local automotive group there, which was just another level up. And throughout that time, I made a lot of contacts with various various vendors, you know, providers of our service contracts, GAP, and all those different policies. And then, you know, one day I have a, a, a buddy of mine, still a very close friend. He came in and saw me at the dealership I was doing F&I with, and he goes, hey, man, I'm looking for somebody uh, to come run this region, right, to, to train and develop our F&I accounts and add new business. And he goes, you know anybody that would be interested? And I was like, that's me. You know, that's that, that, that's what I Because you've always like wanted to, to teach, right? I've always, you know, I love teaching. I mean, when you teach somebody something that they can, and you know this better than anybody, Andy, but if you teach somebody and they're able to put it in play and make a meaningful difference in their their life, and just because you didn't benefit from it financially, it that that's like the fulfillment piece, I think, of humanity, right? That That feels really good. And, you know, and sometimes we get money as a byproduct, which is, added bonus but i think teaching somebody how to grow and learn so uh they can be successful um is great you know and i think that's the goal but you know i was presented with this opportunity and i remember this and it's kind of a funny story because right now we've got a uh, we got two open spots at our at our dealerships right now to bring you know a new F, a couple new f and i managers onto the team and i got a call from just somebody i've always kept in in touch with and he goes dude i've never done a resume I've never done a resume. And I'm like, dude, hit me up. I want to help you with your resume. I want to help you 
be prepared because I want him when he goes into our store to sit down with our general manager, our general sales manager, and be prepared, right? Be so, set up for success. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I bring up the resume story because I wasn't too different from this guy. When I got, hey, are you interested in doing this job? I had never done a resume. And I just remember I was sitting up late at night obsessing over this resume. Nobody had ever asked me for a resume. Yeah, yeah. I heard Resumes it. in the car business don't normally exist. No, it's normally. like, here's my, here's except, my W-2. Yeah, except, <laughs> except big, yeah, here's my W-2. This is what I made selling. This is why you want me. But but the big companies, they, they are interested a little bit in them. And at, at the end of the day, you know, he, he, you're a teacher. And what I like is I speak completely different than you. The way that you speak is dangerous in finance. You know, like I'm just saying, like the way that you speak, the way that you articulate your words, the way that you talk, the way that you slow down, the way that you make everything clear. It's, you know, I'm not saying that I'm not trustworthy, but the way that you teach people to speak in finance, it's not like you're making them a different person, but you show them the way to be the most the most credible, trustable person in the finance position. And that's the last person that the dealership, um, you know, lets the customer meet before they leave. So that's their last perception of the store. And a lot of times right now, profit margins are driving down on the front end. So dealerships are really counting on that back end money, which means they need professionals to do a good job. Well, and that's the whole, like, that's the, in my opinion, that's the real point of a resume, guys and girls, right? It's, it's really to demonstrate your ability to communicate who you are. And, you know, the way I look at it, that even if it comes across and it's not, uh, you know, l l grammatically perfect, I don't care. I just want to hear, see a summary and that you can articulate and show growth. And when I, when I go back to getting hired, I, I obsessed on it. I worked really hard on it. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, they told me I got the job because I communicated well. I put forth the effort and uh, and I think that's what society specifically our industry is is challenged with is uh, communication skills. So you show me with somebody with an average work ethic and can communicate at a high level, they're going to do OK. But if you show me somebody that's got an above average work ethic and can communicate at a very high level and communication just doesn't mean this, Andy. It means these two big ears are working and listening to the customer, answering the question that's answered or asked, pardon me, that's it. So to be able to communicate, whether it's in front of a customer uh, that demands clear communication and transparency, because almost any issue you experience in the dealership, whether it be just a standard issue, you know, hey, I'm upset the way I was treated or you, you know you didn't tell me everything that was going on with the car or the list goes on and on when i get involved with those at, at my dealership because we're not perfect we we strive for it but we have problems when i start talking to customers and i start talking to the people on my team the common denominator is always poor communication 90 percent of the problems we face can be avoided with communication and when you're a good communicator, meaning you're listening to that customer and they felt heard, they're going to engage in dialogue. I always tell my people, monologues don't sell. Dialogue does. You say the same thing, right? Good questions, you get good answers. So you've got to engage in that. So I, I would say when you come down here on December 11th, we're really going to work on your on your communication. So I don't want you guys coming down here looking for a silver bullet because no matter, you know, there's not a... a a customer there's a customer out there that's not going to buy a service contract andy but if i do a good job communicating through asking questions and listening you know they might sign up with a tire and wheel policy they might sign up for a theft recovery benefit or gap or paint and fab or whatever the widget is we offer but they're not going to do that if we don't create a need that they believe in right and that all stems from effective communication and a very solid process that is consistent uh something that can be duplicated time and time again uh and because all that hard work that pre-work if you do that all consistently you're going to get people just say yes or engaged in conversation at the end of the day if you ask any f and i manager all they want is somebody that's willing to engage 
in conversation about the wares we offer. Yeah. That's the key. And we can control that as F&I managers. So that when you come down here, that's what I want to teach you guys is to set yourself up for success and catch the people that like, man, that was great. I want it all. And then have them engaged in dialogues, dialogue. So when they tell you no, you can add some additional products so you can still walk away from that deal feeling like, man, I did a real good job. So guys, I'm going to call Dennis out. I call bullshit. Listen, everybody will buy everything that you sell when Dennis teaches you. He's, like, <laughs> he's very, listen, he's very humble. He's like, you know, not everybody's going to do it. Listen, bull crap. Don't listen to him. Okay? <laughs> Here's what I want you to know. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. The, the way that Dennis sets up his presentation is 100% differently than any other finance manager I've ever seen in my life, than any other finance person or producer, whatever you call yourself, that I've ever seen in my life. Now, I need you to understand this, okay? If every dealership in the world right now is looking for better finance people, if every dealership in the world right now is looking for trained finance professionals with great attitudes, okay? And if you're good at one of these, you'll make at least a quarter of a million. Okay, at least. What's going on? What are you going to do? Where do you get trained? Where, where do you learn? Simple. One day event, December 11th. Okay. Text the number below, the 918-210-0254. Just text 918-210-0254. The tickets are 997 bucks. One day, you spend less than a grand in Scottsdale, Arizona with me and Dennis. Dennis will walk you through A to Z where if you are a current person in the automotive industry who are in sales and you want to move up, we will show you how to leave, go back to your store and literally get a job in F&I. If you're in finance and you're currently not running at least three grand a copy, you need or you need to sell more products, okay? You need to be here. Okay, your job is to be the best in the world, top 1%. This is your opportunity to go back to your store and make 500 grand a year plus. Okay, if you're not in the automotive industry and you're like, man, dude, you know, I'm good at sales or I'm good at communicating, I'm good at speaking. I know people that have never sold a car before in their life that went into car dealerships and they get a job in the finance department because it seems like more car dealerships are opening to hiring people who have never sold cars who actually understand finance. And it's almost like they prefer to sometimes hire people who haven't sold cars. And you say, well, some people are like, well, no, that everybody has to sell cars. No, they don't. No, they don't. I know a lot of people right now that are hiring people that haven't sold cars, but that have been trained on finance. Listen, we're in an era of a new time. Going into 2024, a lot of car dealers right now, like you said, margins are compressing on the front end again. Okay, they really, they're really counting on this back end money. They need to make sure that customers are treated amazing so that the clients will go service the vehicles with them. That way they can stay there as retention with customers. When we sell them a warranty contract, they're going to come back again and do service. Um, also, I honestly think the automotive industry is sick of amateurs. Yeah, no, they, they, I mean, I mean, like they're sick of it, right? Like we are, we are tired. And quite honestly, that not just the automotive industry, but I think people in general, regard like the public, consumers, they're tired of amateurs. Andy, I mean, you go out over COVID and customer service and communication, dog it's, crap, it, dude. It's a lost art. It's terrible. I mean, go into a restaurant and try to get somebody's attention you got people like they'll avoid eye contact that's how we initiate communication you know so it right now the 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 industry needs to change we have as an industry a black eye and some of it quite frankly is well deserved because of the way we have uh dealt with uh we'll call it instances of transparency you know we we haven't been forthcoming and transparent in the way we transact with the customers. And I'm here to tell you, you know, the the cost of not doing it right and being compliant is huge. You know, like a lot of you guys, I, you know, we're all on social media and, you know, you know, there's guys out there that are talking about F&I training. And I, I was listening to one of them starting to talk about compliance, Andy. 
and I'm listening to his rant about how important compliance is, which I agree with him fundamentally. And as he's talking through it, he's like, I'm not asking you to give up your leg. And I'm sitting here going like, that's compliant. You can't have leg and compliance in the same sentence, same sentence, really. That's like non-compliance, right? So there's a lot of guys that are in this space that want to train that are, are so far removed from the regulatory environment. Yeah, they might know the regulatory environment in terms of the service contracts and how things work in the state, but just generally speaking, the, dude, the stakes are so high. And when you come in here, yeah, I'm not going to be able to address all 50 states because there's some states that have some intricacies. And I'm not talking about like when you come in here compliance, I don't care if you know the fine or the prison term, if you violate something we got to do, that doesn't mean anything to anybody, right? That doesn't mean you need to know in a practical sense, how do I solve this on the fly through my daily routine? When I'm in belly to belly across the table with a customer and I got to go 90 miles a minute because they're in a hurry, you need to have a process in place so you can quickly and efficiently and accurately check those boxes. And that is something that we're gonna focus on when it comes to compliance. And uh, I think that's important, right? Yeah, well, I wanna say this. Every day I got general managers that say, hey, Andy, train me up a finance guy, okay? I'll, I'll pay you. Just, just train me one up, let me know when they're ready. And guys, that's not what I do. Um, you know, what we do is that we train people to go find their own opportunities or we train people to uh, increase an opportunity in their current company that doesn't currently exist. You know, like nobody's going to hire you to be the finance guy if you're not good at finance yet. Right, right. Like, I mean, Dennis, getting a job in finance isn't like, hey, boss, when am I when do I get to move up? Well, if you don't understand finance and if you can't go in and take a turn right then and make money off it, they're not going to move you into finance because their biggest fear is that like, oh, man, now I've got to waste all this energy training this guy. OK, I want to tell you guys, listen to me, everybody right now, if you're ready to move up and you want to move up and get a job or you're currently doing it and want to make more money as a finance manager, every dealership across the country is looking for F&I people. They're looking for new energy back in those finance office. They're looking for people that are hungry again. They're looking for people who want to grow. They're looking for new, I say new blood, like they're looking for new blood, okay? They're, they're tired of this, the same washed out people. And, and listen, if you're not washed out, I'm not talking about you, but you know what I'm talking about, okay? And the deal is, is that I think that they're waiting for a, a training program to come out to create new people to come into the market. And, you know, I'm telling you right now, your chance, do not miss this, to learn one day in a finance training class, Andy Elliott certified, Dennis Ging Ging Gingrich being there, which, you, how long were you at Zurich, for 10 years? I was there uh, eight years. Eight years he did finance training. He, he's in, currently in a massive company in California with nine stores, which oversees all the F&I and, and everything else. And, dude, the guy is a savage. He's the most loving, kind-hearted, gentle person, would never lie to you. But he, he, he demands excellence. What I love about you is the way that you teach, the way that you explain, because you haven't taught anything on this. We're just having a conversation. When Dennis goes through with his playbook and walks through everything from A to Z, from how to present, how to handle objections when they come in, how to sell every product, literally, dude, when you leave, you are going to disrupt the market. Every single person at every single company will want to hire you. So if you want to be desired, or if you're a manager, if I was watching this and I was a manager, and I'm like, hey, I don't want to go to F&I. Let's just say, like, I don't want to go to F&I. Okay, don't go to F&I. But you got to understand it if you want to be the general manager. Oh, got, absolutely. Right? And, you like, know, and we're going to get down to the fundamentals of that, right? Because if you don't, to, this, that's a great point. If you truly don't understand how F and I, and they say they understand it, but they, they can't understand it. If the, if you haven't spent time with somebody like you, because a lot of managers say, I understand it. Reading and approval, understanding warranty and gap is not understanding no, finance. But it's so much deeper than that. And yes. I think our industry, you know, and it, I'm sure there's other industries like that. You know, it, like I tell uh, the people I work with at the Nilo company, like I'm okay 
if you don't know. Like, I would love anybody to say, hey, Dennis, I don't know. I don't understand. I need help. Like, I don't care that you don't know. I'm actually uh, respect you more as a person because you're like, dude, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't get it. I need help. You know, the guys and gals that, you know, sit in their office and pretend they know everything or really believe they know everything. Those are the offices the problems come out of. Evolve or die. That. Yeah. And, and, and you got to. And if you're not like growing, what are you doing? Eventually, you're just going to be burnt out because you're not growing. That's how you get burnt out is because you're not challenging yourself and you're growing. So th those of you that are in the office and have been doing it a long time, and I know some of you guys that are watching this are running great numbers and doing a great job. And, you know, hey, you, you, you should still come down here because, yeah, maybe your PVR is great. You know, yeah, you could probably elevate it a little bit. But here's the other thing I want to spend time on when you come down here on December 11th. How do we get you to yes quicker so you can get on to the next opportunity? That is key because think about this. If you're running a big number and you can multiply it by another big number, units, a big number times a big number equals a big number. And that means you're going to have a big paycheck. So that's what we want to do. And the other thing that we're really going to focus on for those of you that are already in the industry, already in the F&I chair, and this is going to be just as valuable for those that are looking to break through and get into that F&I office, is I'm going to take an actual human beings, one of my guys, their numbers, and I'm going to break it down. Like I'm literally going to look at their report and we're going to talk about it. We're going to go through it live in time and we're collectively going to identify the areas of opportunity that this individual needs to get where they should be. And then we're going to roll that in. And how do we adjust the pitch to fill in those voids so they can get paid and they can have a better life for them and their families. The dealership does better. We get more people in service. So when you come down here on December 11th, all I ask, just come down here with your ears open, open mind. I think we'll even be able to provide some pen and paper for you to take yeah, notes. Yeah, we got everything, dude. We got that, and uh, you're going to have a hell of a time. But I promise you this, you're going to learn more in this one day, uh, and I want you to do this, and I know you're going to do this. You're going to leave thirsty for more knowledge. And those are the people we want to hire. Well, number one, you're going to learn more in one day than you learned in your whole life. And what I love about not only learning more in one day, you're going to learn the right way. Um, what I love about Dennis is that when he trains somebody, I can call anyone. I can call anyone and I can place you in his dealership or in a dealership if he's trained you. Okay, that's, that's how dangerous Dennis is. I, I love the way he teaches. I love his core values. I love the way he believes. Um, I love the way he sells. I love the way he closes. I love the way that he, he slows down but also gets to yes fast. I just love it, man. I love that he cares about not only the penetration that you're running like on warranty and gap and all that, but also, you know, how many products per deal, right? You know, one of the things that I've, I've seen you do is that someone will be like, oh, I'm running 2,500 a copy. But they may be running, you know, two products per deal. And you may change them to running more per copy, but change it to four products per deal, which which changes the pay plan dramatically. Yeah, it depends on where you're at and how you make money. I mean, listen, guys, there there are a lot of people that honestly are, are good at finance that don't get paid what they should because they don't know how to max out their pay plan because they're not ever fully developed. And not because they're not good people. They've just never been trained the right way. You know, guys, if you want to own a dealership, if you want to become a general manager, if you want to be a teacher yourself inside of your store, if you want to move up through the ranks, if you want to be the best, if you want the greatest earning opportunity in the history of time, if, if you want to kill it, the automotive industry is thirsty, okay, for great finance people. They don't care about time and experience. They care about can you do your job? Can you protect the dealership? And that's really it. And run good numbers. And December 11th, okay, the number on the screen, 918-210-0254. Guys, every time I get an opportunity to grow and learn, I lean into that. Okay? I lean in. I learn from everybody. 
Dude, if I wasn't even in the automotive industry and I wouldn't even do automotive, I would come down here and I would learn from you just to know what I what, what you know. Because what you teach, even in the in the finance space, it can be used in every industry. The way you talk, the way you articulate your words, the way that you frame a client, your golden questions you ask. I mean, dude, it works in every level of sales. But this event, the purpose of us putting it on is because every dealer has asked, we need better finance people, we need better numbers, and we need the best. And honestly, man, I'm looking around and I see the same people circulating, and the dealers are like, I don't want to pick from that pool. Where's another pool? So we're going to make one. Well, in the pool, right, because we all live in one place, your competitor down the street, if you don't think the owners and the general managers aren't talking, you you got another thing coming because I've been to the events. They talk, they know the people, you know, you got to be the guy when some, an opening comes up that your name gets brought up, gets brought up. That's what we want to want to teach you. And, you know, again, I cannot stress the importance enough right now. I mean, if you're, if you just look at the news, Andy, there's all kinds of uncertainty in the world. You look at what's happening with, interest rates and let's just keep this specifically to automotive you know it wasn't too long ago we saw interest rates in the twos not that long ago now you're seeing interest for good credit sevens eights Isn't that crazy not it dude it blows yeah my yeah mind. when somebody's like you know you're an 850 credit score and they're like yeah 7.9 percent you you're, you almost look at them like they disrespected you dude i feel weird talking about it because it know. just turned so fast no, it's no. like this is a good rate like Wait a second, it doesn't really feel good because we just had two. But right, think about this. When you got two, three percent money, it's a lot easier to be a little bit more frivolous. That's right. Right? It is. And that's so right, right well, now and, and that's why I see a lot of F and I guys are struggling right now, and their excuse is they're saying, Well, the, the, I can't get a better rate. No, dude, you don't know how to sell that great. hundred you percent. You're not gonna get a better rate. Yeah, you could get a better hey, rate and this for could today. last for another two years. It ain't going anywhere. Yeah, soon. that's why I was going to say, like, yeah. listen, dealers, owners, this, I mean, salespeople, like, understand this. There, if you've been wanting to be needed, if you want to be the person everybody's chasing, okay, if you want to be the person that you want your dealership to be like, I need him, or I need her, okay, you got to be here. One day we're going to change your life. Guaranteed, man. We're going to make you the greatest of all time. Your company will see more value than, than in you than ever before. And you'll be the most dangerous person in your dealership. And if you're not in one now, you can get a job at any dealership in the United States after we train you. Guaranteed. In finance. You're going to get a pop when you go home. Dude, listen, this is going to be crazy. And by the way, um, there's only a certain amount of people that we're going to have come. There's only so many seats. Um, it's going to be a private event. It's going to be in Scottsdale, Arizona at my location in the Lion's Den. Um, me and Dennis are going to be teaching it. You're going to get a playbook. We're going to go through everything A to Z. Guys, it's going to be life-changing, okay? So I want you to be here with me. I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait for you to meet Dennis. But understand and expect what you're going to get to leave here and be the most dangerous person in the finance industry that exists from every area, from compliance, from sales, from closing, from presenting, from setting up the sale, from selling more products, to, get, to growing a high gross per cop. Everything you need to know, you will leave with everything you need, okay? All you have to do is show up, okay? So guys, text the number below right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. Listen, bet on you, man. Okay, I know you got a lot going on in life. You know what I'll tell you? If you want 2024 to be the greatest year in the history of time, the greatest year, you want to make more money than ever, and why most companies are hurting or what most you know, salespeople or, or finance guys are making less money and bitching and whining and complaining, you will be thriving and killing it. Any last thing that you want to close this out with? Yeah, I, I just want to say something to the leaders of the stores that are watching this. You know, the general managers, maybe the general sales managers, you know, maybe you haven't done F&I for very long because there's some people that just genuinely, you know, they've done F&I but they don't like it, right? Which, hey, I get it. It has its challenges. Thank God everything's not for everybody, right? That's how we have, you know, we need different skill sets. But to you guys and gals that run the stores, I know if you come down here to this training, you're gonna be better equipped 
to inspect what you expect out of that department, what to look for. So when you're doing your routine deal audits and checking things out occasionally, you're gonna know some of those hot spots that you need to make sure are dialed in in your store to best protect your dealership and quite frankly, your career. Yeah, and, and you can go home and train your people. Exactly. I mean, dude, if I was a general manager, and let's say you say, well, I don't do that no more. Dude, you do do that. You may not be the one taking the turn, but your job is to make sure that those people that are taking the turns are the best in the store. So I just want to say, guys, this is going to be a one-day event. This event, I've been super excited. You know, all year long we've been talking about when we put this on, it's going to be badass. Um, I know the event's already halfway sold out, and we haven't even talked about it just from like people hearing uh, from word of mouth that we're putting it on. Everybody's been asking for us to put on this finance event for a very long time. Um, I don't partner with anybody except for Dennis. Dennis is the best at what he does. Um, his name stands for itself, it's unreal. Um, we have just learned so much from him. Every dealer that I've connected him with when he talks and trains to other people, like they're blown away. This guy teaches skill on a whole nother level, but he makes it, he, he, what I really love about Dennis, and I'll finish on this, you, you make it fun to learn, you make it easy to understand. You know, if anybody at this point in time, they're like, you know, finance is complicated. Do listen, somebody taught it to you wrong. Like, I get it. It's cool, man. Hey, and by the way, look, the way that somebody presents something to you is the way you perceive it. And, you know, a lot of people don't understand finance actually isn't that complicated. It actually isn't that difficult if you get trained the right way. And like you said, if you want to be great, then you need to show up here. We'll show you how to leave here and, you know, either go kill it in your company where you're at or go get a job anywhere you want and destroy it fast. And if you're currently in F&I, like I said lastly, Dude, you'll run numbers that literally you'll never imagine that you could run, and you'll take everybody's soul. And, and I love that you uh, you touched on this. Learning has to be fun. I just if if it's not fun, people dread it. I'm not doing it. I mean, that's me. If yeah, it's and, not, and, fun, I'm and, not and doing it. The difference it, man. between because you trained with Zurich, yeah. right, and a lot of other companies, dude. A lot of them are boring. Yeah, uh, dude. I mean, I mean, honestly, like, I need everybody to understand that. But obviously, they understand the way I operate. Like, our stuff isn't isn't boring at all. But like, but like, a lot of them are boring, man. It's just a lot of repetitive information and reading handbooks and stuff. I mean, Dennis, when I sat down and you know we talked about finance and you started teaching me the way that you set up, the questions you ask, the way that you present it, and then your closing, and then the way that you handle objections. I mean, dude, there was a time where I was speechless and I was like, dude, who taught you this stuff? And then I go back to, you know, you, not only did you do it forever and you're still doing it, but for eight years, you taught closes, you taught selling, you taught such, and you learned from the best in the industry. So anything and everybody that had something great, you took it in. Now you've got this abundance of knowledge that's all badass and you're going to teach it to people in one day and they can have it, you know? Like, this is cool, man. It's going to be good, man. I, I've done a, a handful. I've done a number of seminars over my career at, at, at Zurich, and uh, I'm really – I was always excited for those. But this one, I am really excited to do it just because, uh, dude, it's going to be great. you got such a good vibe down here. Oh, it's going to be bad. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to have a blast. Looking forward to seeing each and every one of you down here. It's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be well worth your time, and you're definitely get uh, – some ROI. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to kill it, dude. He said, you'll definitely get some ROI. You're going to leave a different human being. We're going to have to send your ass home with a new birth certificate. We're going to change your name. That's how much you're going to change. Okay. D Dennis is the one that always is like, you know, oh, well, you know, you're going to get this. I'm like, dude, I'm telling you the truth. This guy's a savage. He doesn't give himself enough credit. I'm telling you, I would not be out here telling you he's as good as he is. He's going to show up and anybody that's here, you're going to be like, I'm, oh my God. Can we arm wrestle at yeah. the end of it? Yeah. You're going to be like, <laughs> you're going to be like, dude, I can't believe I didn't have to pay 20 grand to get this information and you don't have to. And all we want you to do is leave and be the best and go build a name for you and your family and go get someone else's dealership and go change their life. Or if you're currently in a dealership, now they can actually see your true value and you can Google it paid what you're worth because you self-invested. Now you're going to be ahead of everyone else. Dude, listen, and time and experience doesn't mean nothing. I've seen them take brand new, brand new people and make them better than 10-year finance people. Okay, like I need you to understand this. Like this is your way out. So lastly, text guys. Okay, 918-210-0254. Just shoot me a text. Say, Andy, send me information on the December 11th event. And um, I can't wait to meet you. And let's kick some ass. Dude, the desert in December, bro. That's it, man. All right, guys. We'll see you in December. See you soon.
Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.